Hi guys. So if you've been following me, thank you. Thank and thank you to all the new followers. Um as you know, I uh, my page is just about life, so you'll be hearing about my journey. And my journey has many roads as uh, as everyone's does. Um so I've been talking about work, how I'm changing um roles in my nursing career soon. I um I'm a travel nurse now, but um when my contract is over, I'll be starting my new job in a new specialty. I I've already accepted a position, so I'm I'm ready to go. Uh and I'm excited for that new path. Um I I talk about everything. I love to do get ready with me videos. I love to do try on videos. Uh I do love fashion and makeup. It's just it's part of my self-care. It's what makes me happy. Um, <laughs> something I have been doing lately also is, uh, I hopped on the Berberine bandwagon. So I, um, I'm going on that journey if you want to go with me. I have officially been on it for one month and I have lost weight. Now, do I know if it's strictly because of the Berberine? Not yet. So I'm going to continue this journey. Um, if my weight loss continues, then I know it's because of the berberine, because I have PCOS and endometriosis, and I'm also perimenopausal. So my hormones are wackadoo. Wackadoo. Yeah. Um, so my body has been holding on to every little fat cell. All I gotta do is think about pizza, and I gain the weight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so... <laughs> So I haven't been able to lose this weight. I've been trying for two years. And um, about a year ago, I was starting a health journey on here and and marking down my weight loss. And it just was not happening. It was like stuck and it wasn't moving. And it's because of my hormones. Um, if you don't know, and if you're not women, you probably don't know. Um, you know, when you have... A combination of hormonal issues like those three things, the big three I like to call, um, it makes losing weight almost impossible. So you need help. Um, sometimes that help is the form of weight loss surgery or like Ozempic. Um, I can't get Ozempic. I don't qualify apparently according to my insurance, even though when I read the requirements, I do. My insurance sucks. United Healthcare sucks. I can't wait to be rid of them very soon. <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime, um, I have just been down this rabbit hole of berberine videos. And if you're watching this, you probably have been too. So I said, you know, what the hell? I can buy it on Amazon. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> I have, in the past month so far, lost nine pounds. That may or may not be because of the berberine because I fluctuate water weight every month around nine or 10 pounds. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Slish sloshing around. Woo um, so <laughs> I, uh, I do weigh-ins every Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to this on Sunday to see if the weight loss has continued. If it has, then I know that this is, that this is, this is definitely working. Cause I, I have, I've done the work. I've done the research. Um, in 2014, I had weight loss surgery, so I know how to eat. And I'm eating what I'm supposed to be eating. I know the formula. 80% what goes in your mouth, 20% what your body does. That's the formula. And protein is key. So protein and fiber, especially, especially when you hit the perimenopausal age. You have to eat even more protein than you did before you hit perimenopausal. It's crazy. Yeah, you got to do research. You got to know what you're doing. Talk to your doctor, obviously, always. Don't ever listen to a TikTok video for your medical advice or anything else that's important in your, for that matter. Always, always seek professional's help. Um, now, I, I'm a nurse, so I... I research, research, research everything that I do, everything that I do, not just, you know, what I put in my mouth. So, um, I, I see no harm. I saw no harm in giving this a try. It's, and it's fine. There are things that you should know and should do though, when you do do things like this, like, um, this is not a long-term pill, right? It's not a long-term because, uh, while it will take away bad gut bacteria, um, 
if you take it long term, it starts to take away your good gut bacteria. So you have to stay on and stay off, stay on and stay off. So, so for two solid months, I will be on this. And then for a month, I'm going to go off and then I'll go back on it and so on and so forth. As long as it continues to work, I'm going to finish it out. I bought several bottles. Um, so I'm going to finish it out as long as it's working. So I, I would say um, at the end of the two months, if, if, if my weight has continued to drop, I know it's working. And you will too, because I am going to keep you posted. When I do my next weigh-in, I will let you know if I have lost my weight. And I really hope that I have, because I have been working really hard at this, like really hard. Um, I, I try to eat as much protein and fiber every day that I can. I try to limit my snacks. I do have treats because I'm human, but I, I don't overdo it. You know what I mean? So stay tuned. And if you want to follow along for more information, please do. And uh, if you have questions, please always ask. I will uh, post more information as I have it and I can show you exactly what I'm taking every day and I'll tell you what I'm eating every day. Anything you want to know, just ask. Thanks again um, and I'll, I'll see you soon.